Hello everybody, finally it's been so long since I've ever done a model video and all that and DIY or whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what to call this series, but I'm doing, I'm calling a model series. So it's been so long since I've done a video and I'm very, very sorry. And um, seriously, I, I had to do stuff, I had to do work, I have to do studies. And there's a bunch of books like right over there, like where I'm pointing right now, on the table, on my countertop, everywhere there's books. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta study at my age, which is uh, 14. 14, yeah, I'm 14. I'm doing amazing model stuff like this. And yet I have to study so much, I am going insane. Seriously, I'm, I am going insane because of the studying. So today we're going to be doing uh, the pro experimental German 55mm Garat, 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 I, I have no idea how you pronounce that, Garat, 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 uh, whatever, I'm just going to call it Garat 58, it's a 55mm gun, it is built between 1944 and 19, or to 1945, only two of them Two or three were built, nobody knows, but I'm pretty sure there's two. And this gun looks amazing. It is based off the Flak 30, I mean Flak 37 and 30 and 41, and just a scaled up version of it. And it looks, it could be an anti-tank gun, but mainly it's an anti-aircraft gun. And it looks pretty badass. Look at it. It, it looks awesome i'm actually looking at it right now on a computer screen so i'm gonna in this uh episode of part one i'm gonna be doing the uh mount uh i actually prepared a part for it which is this i've already made a hole in it and i as you can see i i did precision i was really really wanted to be precise on the hole i was gonna be making so i did a bunch of circles on it make sure it's precise <clears throat> Sorry about that. So it's gonna I'm making sure it's really precise. So if you want to do something really really precise like this, I suggest making a circle. If you have a circle, I I recommend you do a bunch of circles around it. Preferably a six six circles. Is it six circles? Um, I think it's eight circles in my opinion. Eight circles. And then you use the center point of that of those eight circles to make your precision center circle. So I'm gonna make two layers of these hardened papers. So I'm also gonna drill a hole in this one. This one's an undrilled hole, so I'm gonna make a hole in that. So I'm gonna work on the mount in this episode. So I'll see you guys after I drill this hole and other stuff. Okay. Uh, see you guys later. And yeah, if you don't know how I make, how to make holes in the middle of these things, so you basically get a box cutter, you draw your circle. I actually placed it off of this thing, let's face it. So you draw a circle around it, and then you start cutting with it, like, like that, yeah? Just try and be as precise as possible. Follow the line as closely as possible. Take your time, actually. Don't rush it. Take your time. Seriously, you have to take your time. Un unless you want to end up with a circle that is really, really messed up. And bad and unprofessional. And, um... If you guys want to call me a professional, whatever. You can call me a professional, but I suggest do not. Because I personally am not a professional at doing these things. I'm pretty sure there's other people out there who's done these things and is laughing at my face right now to saying ha that's really really basic but we're set because that's extremely basic stuff and yeah maybe but I but please don't call me a professional I am NOT a professional I can tell you I am NOT a professional so just take your time and you will eventually end up with a hole that looks like mm, just 
actually when you want to punch it out don't go like just don't punch it out a little bit just take your time and voila there you go perfectly the same size see this is what I said take your time always so I'm gonna weld these two together and and I'll um, go on making other things, so I'll see you guys in just a second, right? Okay, so I've done the uh, the mount, the, the hole for the mount. So it's going to sit like this. There's going to be uh, four legs right here. They're going to be pretty short. And then there's also going to be a, another two giant legs sticking out probably this way. Like this, maybe? Something like that. And then there's going to be four smaller ones right here. So that's what I'm planning on. I'm actually looking at this image of the mount, of the mount and it looks pretty big. So I'm going to do that right now. Bye. So I finally made these two um, supports. I I call them or whatever it is. I'm not. I think I should call them supports because well, come on. So what these do? is go like this it's kind of like a I'm not sure hook springies I don't know what they're called but it goes like this somewhat like this uh, yeah I'm gonna glue them up so and and finish the video off with four su more supports right here so I'll, I'll see you guys in a second after I've done that Okay, so I've got it in a sort of propeller kind of shape. It actually looks a lot like a propeller, to be honest. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna work on the four little supports right now. So I'll I'll do that now. All right, I got the support. All the supports are in. It looks great. Looks really hard. Pretty solid. Actually, if you notice, I put one circle here, but I did not. But it's not all the way to the other side. This is why I put two hot pieces of hardened paper together. So my plan is to make for for the mounting to be permanent. My plan is to make a mount here. I mean, a round piece of hardened paper right here, the size of this, and then I attach it to the tube to the from the gun that moves it. Then I'll like how you say sandwich it. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense to you, or but it makes sense to me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you in the next video. I'm gonna make so this is the mount, the garat, the 55 millimeter garat 58. So I'll see you guys in the next video. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, get share this guys, share this to a few a bunch of your friends. Make sure they subscribe too, and of course. Again, I am sorry for not posting videos at all for a month. Is it a month? I'm not sure if it's a month. I'm not sure when was the, when was the last video I posted, but I'm pretty sure it's a month ago. So, have a be well. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye.